Hey guys, how's it going? Jeff here from moneybuysdreams.com and in this short video, I'm going to show you exactly how to install Shop Express onto your domain, onto your hosting account so that you can start taking advantage of the Shop Express software to promote Amazon affiliate products, eBay affiliate products, and AliExpress affiliate products very quickly, very easily, and have the best looking store layout I've seen out there, right? All right, so I'm fixing to install Shop Express onto one of my clients' websites, and so I thought I'd let you look over my shoulder while I do it and explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So if you need to at any point, pause this video, go complete the step, come back, watch some more, complete each step so that you'll be able to install Shop Express for yourself. Now, if you don't own Shop Express yet, I've got a link down in the description of this video that will take you over uh, to the site where you could purchase Shop Express for yourself, right? I've also got step-by-step uh, -step instructions down in the description that you can follow so uh, that you'll know exactly what order to do everything in and exactly how everything should uh, should look on your end, right? Uh, so there are two things that you're going to need before you're able to install Shop Express um, for yourself. And you'll, you'll need a domain name. That's number one. Uh, I use GoDaddy for all my domain names. I have for about eight years now. Never had a problem with them. Uh, they've been a great domain name provider, right? Uh, and then you'll also need a hosting account, right? So I use HostGator. I've used them for about three or four years now. Um, they've been excellent. They've had excellent customer service. Um, and the uptime is absolutely unreal compared to other hosting companies I've ever used. So uh, I recommend HostGator, and like I said, you can find a link to GoDaddy HostGator, anything else I'll talk about in this video, down in the description of this video. So let's get started with this um, this tutorial so that you can get on your way to installing Shop Express, right? All right, so like I said, you're going to need a, a domain name and a hosting account, and when you get your domain name, you just go to add-on domains, you're going to follow that. And you're going to make sure that on the domain end, it's pointing at your hosting account. So if you don't know how to do that, HostGator has plenty of tutorials that'll show you exactly how to do that. Uh, and then you're going to install WordPress. Very simple. Click of a few buttons, you'll have WordPress up and going. Right now, the reason that I install WordPress uh, is because I want to be able to take advantage of the SEO aspect and pull people out of the search engines instead of just sending them to a page that's just full of products, right? All right, so we'll talk about uh, more about that in just a second. But let's get started on installing Shop Express uh, so that you'll know how. So first thing we're gonna do is go to the file section of our hosting account. So I'm gonna click on files here. All right, and it's gonna bring up the uh, file section. I'm gonna to go to file manager. All right, and then once I'm at file manager, I wanna go down to public HTML, right? This one right here, and I'm gonna double click it. Then I'm gonna select my domain name, and it's gonna show me these files right here if I already have WordPress installed. So if you have WordPress installed, then uh, it's gonna look just like this. So what we need to do is we need to create a folder for our Shop Express software to go into, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on plus folder right here in the top left corner. We're gonna click on that, and then it's gonna ask us what we wanna name our folder. So I'm gonna say store, right? And then we we'll create a folder. All right, now you can see that I've got my store folder already created here, and I'm gonna double click that. Now it's gonna be empty because there's nothing in that folder right now. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the Shop Express software into that folder. So you'll need to go over to your Shop Express dashboard. And I'm over here on my client's dashboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to downloads and I'm gonna click on Shop Express. And that's gonna bring up the download software button. So I'm gonna click on download and it's gonna automatically start downloading the Shop Express software onto my computer, right? All right, so I'm not gonna do that right now because I already have it downloaded, but you need to click download if you don't already have your software downloaded. Then you're gonna come back to your folder and you're gonna click on the upload button, All right? So you're just gonna click that upload button and you're gonna select a file. I'm gonna go and find my Shop Express software, wherever it is, and I'm gonna double click that and let that start uploading, All right? 
So let's hop back over here to the blog real quick while that's uploading. And let's talk about how you're going to get traffic to your store. So one of the ways that I've been able to generate a lot of traffic throughout the years is by doing keyword research and finding hot topics uh, that people are talking about on the internet uh, and writing blog posts based on those keywords. Now these can be things like how to keywords like how to train your dog or how to make your dog sit or uh, how to pamper your dog or it can be keywords like uh, ways to, right? So 10 ways to uh, pamper your dog, 10 ways to show your dog you love them, something like that. I'm just going off the top of my head with this website here uh, in front of me, but depending on what your niche is, uh, it, it could be fashion even, it could be uh, video games, it could be anything, but make it something that you're passionate about. Make it something that you'll find easy to talk about because those are the things that you want to blog about. Now you'll be able to get people out of the search engines over to your site, and once they're on your site, they'll go to your store, check out your products. If they're already looking for something, they're gonna buy something. If they're not looking for something, they may see something that they want and buy that too. So that's why I highly recommend that you do it this way and then have your uh, WordPress on the front end instead of just sending people to a store, right? All right, so we got this all uploaded here. Let's close that down. And what we're gonna do is, uh, we're back over here at our folder, uh, but there's nothing here, right? So we're going to click on the reload button. That's gonna show us our zip folder that we just put in there. That's the, that's the software that we downloaded from Shop Express. Now, in order to get, this, to get all these files unpacked from this zip folder, we're gonna to need to extract them. So we're gonna go up here to the top left and we're gonna click on extract. All right, and we're gonna say extract these files. It's gonna bring up a list. We're just gonna close that down and all the files are extracted, but we need to hit the reload button in order to see them so we can see those files there. All right, now we're gonna just get rid of this zip folder because we don't need it anymore. Um, you don't have to delete it if you don't want to. It's just gonna take up a little bit of extra space on your uh, hosting account, so I deleted mine. All right, now I've got my Shop Express software here. So let's go over to the site. Uh, let's go over here to the site, and our our folder name is store, right? So we can go back up here, and we can say uh, see that it's store. All right, so we're going to say our domain name forward slash whatever your folder name is. So mine's store. I'm going to put store. All right, now this is the Shop Express software is gonna look like when it first comes up uh, and you put in your uh, folder name, right? So it's gonna have, it's gonna say, okay, this is what we require and you have all this stuff, right? So if you have green check marks, you're good to go. Click on next step. Now this is where you need to pay very, very close attention because this is where most people get thrown for a loop. But it's very, very easy to uh, put in all these details and to create these details. So Make sure you pay very close attention, and if you have to, just click on pause on this video and come back as often as you need to to get all these steps down because they're very important. All right, so we're done right here. We're going to go back to our main screen. We're going to go to the databases section, right? Now you'll see four, four different options here for databases. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the one that's MySQL database wizard. Now don't get this confused with the MySQL databases. We want the wizard because this is gonna walk us step by step through how to set up our database, right? And it's very, very simple if you follow these instructions, right? All right, so it's asking us to create a database. Now you can name this database anything you want to, right? So I'm gonna just name mine Shop Express and I'm gonna to go to next step. Don't get hung up on the name, just create it any, uh, put in any name you want. Now this is gonna ask you for a database username. Right, so we're gonna just make up a name again. It can be eight characters. So I'm gonna put in crazy dog for mine. Now it's gonna ask us for a password. I'm just gonna use the password generator and I'm going to generate a password and then I'm gonna use that password, right? Now I'm gonna copy that password because I'm gonna need that password here in just a second uh, for my Shop Express details, right? For my details here, right? So I copied that password. Uh, while it was still up. If you didn't copy yours uh, and you've already generated it, just generate another one. It'll be just fine, right? And then we're gonna create user. All right, now it's going to ask us which privileges that this user should have. We're gonna select all privileges. And then we're gonna to go to next step. 
And that is it. That's how you create your database for Shop Express. So what we're going to do is we're going to go plug these details in. So for host name, what you're going to select is, or what you're going to put in is local host. All is one word, no spaces, just local host, right? Then immediately go down to your password and put in your uh, password that you copied, right? So you're going to put in your password down here uh, from, the, from setting up the database. All right, now you've got your database username here, so you need to select everything inside the quotes, not the quotes themselves, and you're just going to copy that. All right, so this is our username, so we're going to paste that here. All right, and we're going to go back and get some more information. We're going to need the database name. Everything inside the quotes again, we're going to copy that. We're going to head back over here to our database name, and we're going to plug that in. Now we have everything that the... Uh, database connectivity page is asking us for. So we have all of our details in, we're gonna to go to next step, right? All right, now we're gonna just fill out the administrator name. We're gonna say crazy dog. You can put in whatever you want. This is just gonna be uh, your administrator name. Uh, it's something you can change anytime you want. I'm just gonna put in my email address, right? And then we're gonna put in our our company name. I'm just going to use the same as what my administrator name was. All right. Now we're going to come up with a password. Now this can be any password that you want. So we're going to just make sure those passwords match. All right. So just make sure you can remember that password or that you have some kind of software that's going to remember it for you. Um, and because you'll need that password to log in to your store. So next, you're going to click on next step if you have everything in there correctly. And if you've done everything correctly, it's going to bring up a screen that says, congratulations, your store is ready to go, basically. And you can go to the admin screen. All right now, this is where you're going to need to put in your license key for Shop Express. So you're going to need to go back over to your Shop Express dashboard and you can click uh, for licensing. You can also go down to subscriptions and you'll find licensing down there too. All right, so you're just gonna generate a license key. I already have a couple ready to go, but you can click on the generate key button and it'll generate you a new key. All right, and then we're gonna go back over to our admin area and we're just gonna paste in that key. All right, then we're gonna click here to license the store. All right, so now our Shop Express is activated and ready to go. So let's go back over to our crazy dog mom store and you can see right here that we have our store ready to go now all we need to do is uh we need to design our store the way we want it to so uh if you're familiar already with the uh, shop express software you'll know that there are themes that you can choose from uh, so you can just go to store design you can go to themes and you'll be able to select from the themes that are available um, and you'll be able to customize your entire store, right? So make sure that once you install everything, you get it looking the way you want it to. Uh, you can change out your logo, all of that good stuff over here um, under the store design uh, tab. You can add products from Amazon, eBay, and AliExpress here. First, you'll need to go down to the settings and put in your affiliate info for eBay, uh, Amazon, and AliExpress. Uh, so make sure you do all that stuff. Um, and that's that's really about it, guys. Just design your store the way you want it to. Um, now, one last thing that I wanted to tell you about is once you get your store all up and ready to go and you wanna start sending traffic to it, uh, you're going to want to go over to your, your main page, your main homepage, right? Your WordPress site. You're gonna to wanna to just add in a menu tab so it's going to be right next to this home tab right so to do that all you're going to do is copy your link uh, for you for where your store is actually located and you can go to custom links now you're going to just paste that link into there so i've got crazydogmoms.com forward slash store right and then i can call this store or i can call it shop whatever i want to call it right and i can add it to the menu right so i can put that right there and then I'm just gonna save the menu. All right, so now you can see that when people visit our site, they'll see this shop tab up at the top 
and when they click on it it's going to take them over to our store right and they'll see all of our products all of our categories and things like that over in our store right so it's as simple as that guys to get shop express uh onto your domain name you just see me do it in just a few short minutes so it's not something that's going to take you a long time to get up and running it's not something that's going to be a hassle or a headache um it's something that's very simple and you get one of the best looking stores uh affiliate stores that i've ever seen and that i've ever actually used so if i'm installing this thing on my client's uh website you know that it's good as gold because i like to treat my clients good as gold right so uh go out and start putting your shop express software to work for you create you an awesome affiliate store uh, get you some Amazon, eBay, and AliExpress products loaded into that store. Start writing some awesome blog posts. Send people over to your shop and get them to start purchasing products and just sit back and watch the money roll in, right? All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you found it super helpful and super beneficial. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much.